Hey guys, welcome to Car Guy 1999 Reviews as well as Quirk Automotive. I'm gonna make this nice and quick outside because the wind is brutal, but this is the 2020 Soul Kia Soul GT Line 1.6 Turbo. Absolutely beautiful design. Go inside before the wind gets bad. So the sticker on this one is 28.6. Uh, this one's pretty much fully loaded. Whew. So this has the 1.6 liter turbo, 201 horsepower, which is plenty for a small car like this. Ton of pep, ton of power. I really have no complaints at all with it. Um, it's really kind of a funky design, uh, but visibility is great. I love the whole new center screen. It's actually a lot bigger than you might think for this market. Uh, once you put it in sport mode, you have your torque that comes up in the center screen as well as your turbo pressure. I'm going to go ahead and put it in manual because this is a dual clutch transmission and the paddles are very satisfying to use. A manual transmission is available. This one has the dual clutch. one time that I need it to not be busy it is you do have auto start stop uh, looks like the previous person that was in this shut it off and I'll leave it off has a really throaty sound to it. As I said before, visibility is excellent. This is a wonderful city car and it has power to match now. This new powertrain is absolutely awesome, especially with the turbo. If you don't want the turbo, uh, for a couple thousand less, you can get the 2.0 in the GT line trim. So if you like this trim, don't want the turbo, you can get that. However, I mean, I'd swing for the, the turbo at this point. You do have Harman Kardon audio on this trim. Um, sounds absolutely excellent. But no, I'm thoroughly impressed with how this car drives. Um, I wasn't expecting a whole lot. I was like, oh, it's gonna be kinda cool. But no, this is a really, really fun car to drive. Um, and the fact that it's so affordable is just even better. I mean, you're looking at sub 30,000 for a pretty much fully loaded one of these. That's impressive. Now we're going to be heading towards the back road 
and uh, kind of see how it handles. The turbo is so good. Um, I've never driven a Soul. This is my first Soul. Um, so I don't know how it compares to a non-turbo trim. But this is quick. This is really quick. Um, you know, if somebody was looking at a Soul and didn't love the car, didn't think it had enough power for them, try one of these things out. These are a lot of fun. It has the same powertrain as the Kia Forte GT. So that's where it's it's really kind of kind of spicy. It almost feels a little bit quicker. I don't know if that's cuz it's smaller wheelbase or what, but it does feel really really quick. taken this way. I'll see what this is like. Brake pedal feel is excellent. thing hauls <laughs> wow this is an excellent car Wow, it handles really well. Go ahead, switch it to normal mode and see what that's like. Steering's a lot lighter. The throttle's a lot less touchy. And, um, well, I'm in manual mode, so transmission tuning doesn't really matter for me. But, yeah, I prefer sport mode. That just livens the whole car up. It's like a little Golf GTI. It's, it's a little fun car.
war zone because of this wind. Overall, I am definitely impressed with the 2020 Soul GT Line Turbo. This is an excellent car. Um, something I, it's very underestimated. I, I didn't think much going in, but this is a really, really, really fun car. Uh, so thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Please stay tuned for more, and have a great day.